A clanmate of mine, lots of syrup, had watched my last video on the ebb and flow of a battle. Um, he had mentioned that, that I didn't spend enough time in the actual battle portion of the video describing what I saw, why he was doing what I was doing. So I decided to go ahead and make this video as a part two to that video. The first step for figuring out the ebb and flow of the game is to have some knowledge. You gain that knowledge from the mini-map. Where are the tanks? Which way are they headed? And what gaps did they leave open for you to exploit? Now remember, I don't want to take the enemy team on head-on. I want to hit them from the side, hit them from the back, at the same time protect myself. So like all my games, where it's only an 8v8, I am looking right off the bat to start a flank. So I'm going to go to, like I always do, and wait for lights. That's step number one. So I immediately go up to the crossroads, and I'm just going to wait here. Um, I'm in a pretty good spot if they do some kind of weird rush uh, to get some shots. But um, I'm just going to hang out here until I got lights on the city, and hopefully some lights on those BMDs. So if I look at my team list here, I can see that I have a danger platoon and three Havoc players. So I have a fair amount to worry about here. Um, however, the Danger Platoon has two heavy tanks and a BMD. I'm pretty sure the BMD is not going to go into town. Um, one of our Havoc players has a heavy tank, so he's going to go into town. We have a Pubby. So that's four possible heavies in town, and quite a bit to deal with out on the, um, the outer edge with the two BMDs and the TDs. Alright, so you can see that I'm starting to move. So I think already in my mind I had decided that I want to work on the city because tackling the edge with the amount of firepower they had is just not something I wanted to deal with just yet. Alright, we got lights. I have confirmation bias. I have four heavies in town and the rest on the, the edge. So this is exactly what I wanted. And you can see I have a huge gap to play with in between the two sets of lights. So, you know, my goal here is to get behind that column moving into the city and slowly insert my rounds up their poop pipe. Dry. I need to be real careful here as I'm moving into town. I don't want to be seen. Surprise, surprise, surprise. That is the most important thing. They need to not know I'm coming. So I'm going to try to make sure I'm hidden from the from the edge line and hidden from them until it's too late. Okay, you can see that I moved. And, and the reason I moved is that most people don't like surprise butt sex. So I'm pretty sure that one of them is going to come back and try to take me on. So I just don't want to be there. So, and in fact, that is what happened. Coyote, rightfully so, comes back to try to engage. Luckily for me, I was already on my way. And uh, he just had to turn around and re-engage with the column. All right, so now my current spot is kind of puts me in a difficult situation as far as choices. I have shots on the, the edge line, and I can go into the city again. Now, hindsight being, as I, as I have seen the replay, and we did lose this game, uh, that I probably should have focused on the edge. So I've chosen to reacquire in the city. So I'm going to head back, double back, um, see if I can get some more shots on those heavies, and uh, hopefully get some kills here. You'll notice I'm not interested in playing peek a -boom. Um, I took my shot, and now I'm leaving. I'm going somewhere else to get another shot. So I, I don't want him or those guys to ever know where I'm at. All right, so now I'm starting another flank on the two remaining heavies in town. Um, at this point, I probably am going to play peek a -boom because they're both low. Uh, I just want them out, and then I can go and try to flank the guys on the edge. After I kill this heavy tank, um, I left the last one because we had three tanks over there. I was pretty sure they could deal with it, which they did. So I decided to start my flank on the edge line. All right, now this part of the battle is where I made my first error. Uh, I've been playing really well up to this point, and I feel like had I seen this, that the game might have turned out differently. What I didn't notice was that our TD and our Fox on the zero line were retreating. So I. I went into flank figuring I would have a triangle, but all I really did was allowed their team to flank me. So, you know, surprise butt sex and all that. So I come out of the city and I instantly spot the Zalo. I take a shot, he hits me back, I drop down into the trench there under the bridge, and my plan was to just come up and spot because their focus is going to be on me and our other teammates could 
could uh, coordinate cross shots. Of course, what I didn't see was uh, fire on Fengal, rushed down, down the hill he was on, across the the trench and up the other side, and I never saw him. So he was flanking me, which is perfect. And then um, I did catch a sight of Unibrow doing it. I missed the shot on him, but I figured I could just head up that hill and uh, surprise butt sex came my way from the danger player. So what I'm really trying to illustrate here is that um, these games are a lot like chess. I find an opening, I move, I take their pawn. They find an opening, they move, they take our pawn. So it's a matter of trying to outplay and outthink your opponents. In the beginning there, I felt that I did a good job at um, outplaying my opponents as far as getting my hits in, getting out, getting my hits in, getting out. Uh, where I made my mistake was, was first, not noticing the retreat, and second, not seeing that I was myself getting hit. Um, you know, and that's just, you can't catch everything. And, and I'm okay with the way I played. You know, you just can't catch everything. So, uh, plus, you know, the danger guys, are good players, Unibrow, and um, you know the other Havoc guys are good players. So, it, you know it is what it is. I, I don't feel bad. I didn't get you know outplayed by a puppy. So, anyway, I hope um, this was helpful and more informative than my last video. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.